Hello and welcome to Oh The Things You Can Cut. Today I'm going to review the Wii Knife Co. Banter, designed by Ben Peterson, who I actually had the privilege of meeting. Good dude, you know who I'm talking about. If you're familiar with the early knife banter episodes of Blade HQ. So this knife has a, well it's going to be hard for you to see, uh, but a CPM S35VN stainless steel blade. And this is the black stone wash blade uh, version with the black G10. The very first thing I thought about this knife when I first held it was how amazing the action is. That is some serious thumb stud action. That was awkward. So that's definitely a plus in its favor. It also provides a full four finger grip. Uh, and that lanyard hold down there if you prefer to attach things to your knife, rather if you like to attach things to your knife. Uh, I got this with the blue thumb stud because it matched my flashlight that I used to carry at the time. We Knife Co, as I'm sure you know, and if you don't, uh, is a really high quality brand. They do manufacture out of China. Um, however, uh, that is in no way indicative of the quality of their product. Uh, they are flawless in many ways. I've had very few issues with any of their knives. This one, I did have a little bit of a problem with the lock bar uh, in that it wouldn't quite travel far enough to the point that I had a little bit of blade play. Uh, however, I was able to uh, take the scale off and just bend the lock bar in a little bit and that completely solved that problem. Right, it's got jimping here on the spine. Uh, which is actually quite aggressive, but not uncomfortable in any way, uh, which is, in my opinion, ideal for jimping. It's actually, you know, fits on so you can use it, which I think is excellent. We've got the deep carry pocket clip with the recessed screws. And who doesn't love that? Every deep carry pocket clip should have recessed screws, if you ask me. Uh, and to wrap this thing up, I'm just going to cut a few things with this. Just some random stuff I found around my house. This is a piece of metal. This is a piece of cardboard. It's my mini cutting board. So I've got a uh, piece of Lego. It's pretty tough. not had any issues with the edge on this knife. It's been excellent. As you see, I'm going to tear into this sticky note. Gotta love a good smooth clean cut. Another Lego. These things are tough. That's why they destroy your feet. What about a playing card? I'll get this one all the way through. What about a sack of playing cards? That's going to be fun to clean up later. Cardboard.
and lastly, a book. Haha. <laughs> Not even in frame. That's awkward. Oh, that's satisfying. What a delicious mess. Oh, the things you can cut. Check out the We Knife Co. banner. I'd probably give it a 8 out of 10. Style, it's not really my style. I don't love the look of it. Um, but as far as performance, there's really nothing you can complain about with this. Even like comfort in hand and in pocket, it's excellent. As far as packaging, you're gonna get a standard We Knife Co. box pouch. Inside that, you've got a microfiber cloth uh, and some stickers and all that good stuff. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any knife you'd like me to review, do let me know. And if there's anything you'd like me to cut within reason, uh, let me know and I'll see to it.